It's still the 23rd, but, you know, it's the holiday season. So I thought I'd give you a few new albums to listen to that were released in the last couple years. Um, these were all released either this year or last year. And none of them, I don't think, have gotten their recognition that they deserve as fantastic artists and albums. So I'm going to link in the description. You click on the description below my name, and then I'll give you links to four fantastic, perfect records that um, are more obscure. I love Gruber. I love Mike. I love the blank, whatever the fuck buttons new project is, I think are very good. Um, I love a lot of stuff that has some level of like mainstream recognition, so I'm not going to bother recommending those. Maybe I'll review those. But I'm giving you four albums that I didn't know about until I dug along on the internet and then found these and they're incredible records so one of the records that I want to give you is Tizra Terza 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 she's a British um, singer songwriter and all of her stuff's great she came out with an album this year called Devotion that I really like it's very sparse, um, but the lyrics and melodies are good. They just kind of shift frequently before developing. It was very dense with a lot of really good artistic ideas. Um, there's another guy who's a rapper and a producer named Ka, K-A. He came out with a record this year called The Martyr's Reward. It's a fantastic record. He has other fantastic records. You should be aware of this guy. He's not a full-time rapper because it's difficult to earn a living creating genuinely unconventional music. So anyway, listen to this record. If you like it, buy some of his stuff. Support him. Go see him if he performs live. Um, same with all of these artists. Um, if you like the mainstream stuff that I like, perhaps you like these newer obscure things that I also like equally. There's another album called, it's by More Mother, which are sort of, uh, almost like militant, um, black rights, uh, songwriters that um, have come up with some fantastic records. Uh, this year they did Black Encyclopedia of Air, which is good. My favorite is Circuit City, which came out in 2020. So I don't like Circuit City because I think that's their best record. Circuit City is insane. It sounds like a jazz fusion rap. It doesn't make a lot of sense. It's fantastic. Listen to it. And then the fourth record, Black New Country Road. Black Country New Road. Um, this record is for the first time. Uh, I think it's the first Black Country New Road album. These are British, like Tizra, Tirza, however you pronounce. Um, in this record, if you like King Crimson, if you like Slint, if you like um, the dark prog or the post-rock stuff that I'm partial to, you'll love this record. It's a fantastic album. All four of these are great albums by great artists that are just not as popular as they deserve to be, in my opinion. So in the description of this, I will link you four of their recent albums, 
and hopefully that will open up your your musical tastes to supporting some of these important younger artists that um, don't get mainstream recognition. Thank you.